Welcome to the U-Floor Systems Magic Oil Application DVD. Brought to you by the Palman Institute of Hardwood Floor Sealers and Finishes. As I mentioned, today we are demonstrating the application of Magic Oil, Palman's premier two-component oil and wax penetrating finish. This specialized product is recommended for commercial and residential applications where a velvety hand rubbed appearance is desired while maintaining the durability and chemical resistance similar to a film forming finish. Preparing a wood floor for a magic oil application is much the same as for most wood floor finishes. Whether you are starting with a new installation or resanding an existing floor, we recommend removing all finish and sealers. Using your belt sander, make your final cut with a 100 grit abrasive. Your final rotary cut should use a 100 to 120 grit screen or equivalent. In addition, confirm the floor has been thoroughly cleaned before applying the finish. Magic Oil is a penetrating finish product, not a film forming finish. So, to produce an even and rich appearance with high wear resistance, the oil must be absorbed into the wood. Depending on the species of wood being sanded, a final cut that is too fine could close off the wood fibers, not allowing adequate penetration and absorption of the finish. This could result in an uneven appearance and reduced performance. We recommend troweling on Magic Oil as our primary application method. Here are the tools you will need for this application. A stainless steel trowel, a mixing container, a stir stick, plastic gloves, eye protection, shoe covers, and the buffer pads for picking up the excess oil. Tape for the buffer wheels and some plastic sheeting for your staging area are also a good idea. Remember to have plenty of red and white pads available. In addition to a trowel, magic oil may also be applied using a buffer to initially spread the finish. As you will see, the procedures are similar. Although there are two different application methods, we primarily promote the trowel application because it forces the finish into the wood fibers and leaves less excess on the surface that must be removed later. Let's get started. Pour the magic oil into your mixing container. Add the hardener, making sure to mix the components thoroughly. Make note of the time you begin your application. You have approximately 15 to 25 minutes from the beginning of the application to when you must begin removing the excess oil. It is important to watch the timer as we are applying to make certain we don't let the finish become too tacky to buff. If you wait too long, you'll have to wait 12 hours for the material to fully cure to disc off and reapply. After setting the timer for 15 minutes, pour a four to six inch pool of magic oil onto the floor. Trowel it into the surface using a continuous sweeping motion. When finishing strip and plank flooring, move the trowel at an angle to the direction of the grain. This process will help force the product into the grain, much like when trowel filling a floor. The force of the trowel helps infuse the oil deep into the pores of the wood, leaving less excess material on the flooring surface that must be removed in the buffing process. Simply continue this process across the entire floor until completely covered. Keep in mind that you may have to stop applying the oil and take time to remove excess material that has begun to set up. This stopping and starting process of application and removal will not cause any undesirable effect on the floor, such as lap marks. Removing the excess oil is a fairly easy process. Simply attach a non-abrasive red pad to the drive plate and buff off the excess oil as we are doing here. Make sure to thoroughly clean your buffer before beginning this process. A typical sweeping motion of the buffer will suffice. Take your time during this procedure. It is important to work the finish into the wood for maximum penetration. This ensures a more even look and better overall product performance. You will be able to tell when the pad is saturated when you see oil droplets begin to sling off to the side of the pad. Turn the pad over at this time and continue the process. With a trowel application, you can expect each pad to effectively work about 100 square feet per side. You will likely use more pads when applying the finish with the buff on method. When the pad becomes saturated, simply attach another pad and continue. Make sure to properly dispose of the saturated pads in a safe container with water to prevent a fire hazard. Never leave oil rags inside a building. If the buff on method is chosen, simply begin by pouring a puddle on the floor and work the buffer into the puddle as we are doing here. Work the oil into the surface until the puddle is depleted. It is important to take your time. Pour another puddle and continue. 
It is important to apply as even a coat as possible to create an even look as with any sealer or finished material. Regardless of the method chosen to apply magic oil, certain factors such as wood species, time spent buffing, air, floor surface temperature, and relative humidity will affect the product application to some degree. Cooler temperatures and high relative humidity may extend open times during the application. Keeping an eye on the clock, we complete the application. If more than one person is applying magic oil, one person can be troweling on while the other is buffing off the excess material. Clean your tools and properly dispose of any oily rags. Our Utsen Clean Box Cleaning Wipes are specially formulated to remove oily residue from hands and tools, making cleanup a breeze. Immediately after buffing off the excess material with a red pad, begin the second buffing with a white pad. Again, you are removing the balance of the residual oil finish and evening out the overall look. Work your way to the exit point, being careful not to leave any footprints. When applying magic oil over a hand-scraped or distressed wood floor surface, it is recommended to make the application using a buffer with a red pad. The surface is too uneven for a steel trowel application. Excess product removal is virtually the same procedure as already shown except for the second buffing pass. For this segment, we recommend using a carpet pad cut to fit your buffer's drive plate. Carpet pads, especially a continuous loop or sculptured version, gets into the uneven surfaces very well, working the oil into the wood surface, effectively picking up the excess material. You can make your final pass with a clean carpet pad or white pad depending somewhat on how well the pads are collecting the excess finish. Remember to take your time. Magic oil finish should be thoroughly worked into the surface and all excess material should be removed before the curing process is complete. Now that you have completed the first application, it is time to repeat the process. The second application is exactly the same as the first. To summarize the process, number one, completely sand the floor and prepare for the finish application. We recommend a 100 grit final cut for the belt sander and a 100 to 120 grit screen for the final rotary cut. Number two, the tools needed are a stainless steel trowel, a mixing container, a stir stick, plastic gloves, eye protection, plastic sheets, red and white buffing pads, a timer, shoe covers, and blue tape for the buffer wheels. Number three, set a timer for 15 minutes. Pour a four to six inch puddle of magic oil on the floor at the starting point and trowel on the material in an even and continuous sweeping motion. Watch the clock. Number four, the first buffing pass will require a red pad. It is very important to begin the excess finish removal 15 to 25 minutes after beginning the application. Inspect the floor surface to make sure it is ready to begin the removal process. Number five, using a white pad, make a second pass to remove all excess oil from the surface and completely even out the appearance. Take care not to leave any footprints. Number six, repeat the process. The second application is exactly the same as the first. Reset your timer and begin troweling. Watch the clock and begin the excess material removal when the surface feel is right. Make your final buffing with a clean white pad to achieve that overall even appearance. Number seven, safely dispose of all oily items and clean off your tools. U-Floor Systems Clean Box makes cleanup a breeze. Remember, Magic Oil Finish can handle light foot traffic after four hours and fully cures in 12 hours. Thank you for watching How to Apply Magic Oil by Palman, brought to you by U-Floor Systems. For more information about U-Floor Systems finishes, sealers, moisture barriers, primers, or adhesives, please contact your local wood flooring distributor or call our customer service department at 1-866-505-4810 for more details.